In Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins, a highly successful talk show host, comes home to his small town for his parents' 50th wedding anniversary, and he must take a hard look at his big city attitude. What's up? My name is Martin Lawrence, and welcome to Made in Hollywood. Here's a new clip from my new movie, Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. Y'all hang out. It's showtime. You're the male Oprah. Ope, bro. <laughs> my baby's home. It's been a long time, Dr. Stevens. Dad, that's just a stage name. Yeah, I know. Well, tell me about your life as R.J. Stevens before you returned home. Well, he's a successful um, talk show host, you know, a best-selling author, you know, and he, you know, he, he's getting ready to marry, you know, has a fiance that, you know, that's a reality star, so he seems like he has the best of all worlds right now, you know, and, uh, but the one thing he doesn't have is his connection with his family, and uh, that's not cool, you know, and uh, the family lets him know about that. You got your jewelry? You got your purse? Hollywood, they came to town. What up, cuz? Oh, man, look, you got them picnic tablecloth fans. Hey, boo-boo, let me get another picnic basket. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Well, I got to tell you, one of my favorite scenes was the fight scene. Come on. That was hilarious. It was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. It was hot to do. And when you see Martin walking down that road, it just makes you start chuckling right then because he looks pitiful. Then to walk up to Betty, and she not making it any better. It was just, it was, it was a real brother sister fight. Like you know what, I'm gonna have to show you who running this. Boy, you think you're special, but you know Hollywood show. We gonna beat you down. You will respect your elders and stop saying so damn rude. Say praise the Lord. Was that you, or did, was there a double ever used in that? There was a double used. One time for Martin. <laughs> she was doing her own stunts. No, they, they were, there were doubles at times. Yeah, but I really wanted to do it. Like to lift up and flip over, that was me. Yes, baby, I loved it. I'm good, Sco. Got an outstanding career, beautiful fiance. Don't even matter that you can never beat me or nothing. I beat you. Mama. They're your children. <laughs> do what you want to do. He started it. Tell me a little bit about the story of Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. Well, I think Clyde and him, I think there's, there's a really big thing going on with your character and, and Martin's yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, you know, Martin is with Roscoe Jenkins. Is, you know, he's going away to California, become successful, and now he's returning to the South, to a small town. And basically, you know, he's dealing with family who, who knows from where you come, and they don't really care about your your stardom and all this fame you have, and they deal with you as Roscoe and not RJ. And, and then my character is a cousin who was raised like a brother, and I'm just, his, you know, I'm the nemesis. It was exhilarating. It, uh, I peed my pants. But you guys both are the same in a lot of ways. I mean, yes. because your character wants to be the big fish in the little sea, yeah. and, and, and Martin's character wants to go and be a big fish somewhere else. I got out of here the first chance I could, and I haven't looked back. When you returned home, you also run into your family member, Clyde. Yeah. And there's a little bit of competition. Tell me about the competition between you and Clyde. Well, me, uh, RJ and Clyde, uh, you know, they, uh, uh, Clyde's been getting attention from the family since we were younger, you know, and, um, and that doesn't set well with RJ. So, you know, they're always competing. And then Clyde winds up taking, you know, the childhood sweetheart from RJ. And that, that stays with him all his life until he winds up going back home and uh, flames get rekindled and things. Yeah. Let the games begin! I'm about to strike you out, player. It was so much fun. I loved it. I had a great time. Was this the first co first comedy for both of you guys? For me. Yeah. What was your first comedy? Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. Hilarious. Yeah. No, it's my, uh, I think my third. Oh, wow. I just come from doing Talladega Nights. Ah. So, yeah. It was, was kind of cool. Yeah. I like comedy, though. <laughs> Comedy's good. Yeah. Let's go. You've been eating? He's all skin and bone. <laughs> I know. Doesn't he look fabulous? <laughs> yeah, he looks fabulous, all right. 
downright metrosexual with them young ass pants on. <laughs> what was it like um, having James Earl Jones play your father? Oh, that, oh. that was, to me, Lucky. was history. History, I had to take pictures with him, I was a true fan. I acted like a fan around him. I was just like enthralled at everything he did. So I know coming home hasn't been exactly what you expected, but we're still family. I guess. Was it like a learning lesson just being around him? I think whenever you work with people who like, you know, are legends like that, even if you if you have limited interaction with them, just their presence being there is just elevates you and yeah. and gives you, I don't know, some no. confidence or something. Just their presence. Yeah. You want to be the best, you know? You really want to know your lines there. Take that dog out of my kitchen. Just ain't sanitary. What's wrong with people? Don't make no damn sense. So, Mike, for you, what was your favorite part of shooting this movie? I honestly have to say that the whole movie was fun shooting. Every scene was fun shooting, but I think looking in that Shower on Monique might have been my favorite scene, you know what I mean? Might have been my favorite scene, you know what I mean? I got all kind of calls. All my buddies were calling me, asking me, yeah, man, that was a good movie. And then just before I hang up, they say, did you really get to see Monique's breast? <laughs> we're going to take a shower while you sleep on the couch tonight. Do what you want. What are you doing, boy? You trying to sneak up here and see my treat. I thought Mel Carter was dead. Give me a break. You want to see something? You want to look? If there's a lesson to be learned from this movie, what would it be? Well, the lesson I think to be learned is don't stay away from home. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 always keep your family connected and, and, and involved, you know, because family is important. Everybody needs each other, especially in family. I said, what you looking at me like that for? Ain't nobody scared of you. You're an officer here in Mayberry. Hit the